before configuring a WDS connection between two DWL 8710APs, we have to configure the static AP for your laptop and then the APs. Right-click on the network icon in the bottom right-hand corner and select Open Network and Internet Center. Click on the Change Adapter options and then on Properties. Select TCP IP Properties, then click on Properties. Set up the IP address and subnet mask for the same LAN segment of the wireless controller's defaults. You can leave the other fields blank. Open the AP1's web UI on your browser and log in with the default username and password shown here. Click on Manage and then Ethernet Settings. Then select Connection Type with Static IP. Set up the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Click Update and then click OK. AP1 is set up. For AP2, repeat the steps above. Log in to AP2's web UI with the default IP address. Click on Manage and then Ethernet Settings. Select Connection Type with Static IP. Set up the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Click Update and then click OK. And you're done setting up AP2. Since the WDS connection needs mutual configuration, we'll put the configuration steps together here. First, log in to both AP1 and AP2 in separate windows. Click on Manage and then Radio. Select two from the Radio drop-down list. Select one channel from the Channel drop-down list. Click Update and then click OK. Please make sure both APs have the same channel setting. Second, click on WDS. Select 2 from the radio drop-down list. To fill in the remote address field, copy and paste the MAC address from the other AP. Go to the encryption and select WPA, PSK. Then type in the SSID and key. Click Update and then click OK. Please make sure both APs are having the same SSID and key setting. Third, to check if WDS has been configured, go to Status, then click Transmit and Receive. Scroll down here to check the WDS connection. If successful, you will see an UP here. You can check the connection status exactly the same way for the other AP. Or you can simply ping the remote AP via the CLI prompt interface.